play the French, yeah, but... Uh... <laughs> oh, yes, that's very nice. No, well, it's different. I mean, football, what's that Pratt called? The one in Manchester United, what's he called? That... D d him? What, Ronaldo? Ronaldo? He falls over every time someone goes near his hair. <laughs> OK, if you're in that much pain, I would run on, humane killer, poof, there, bolting his head. <laughs> they are a bunch of Nancy boys, aren't they, footballers? <laughs> Let's be honest. Well, we, you know, we do call it the Andrex Premiership, actually, because it's kind of soft and uh, unnecessarily expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use that myself, as though I thought of it. <laughs> Now, I went to the final, as I was saying, in, um, in uh, Paris this year. I have never felt an atmosphere quite like a Rugby World Cup final. And what must it be like on the pitch? I mean, what it... Well, you'll tell me. Well, it's, it? well, it's, it's amazing. I mean, it's the, the, game that you, the games that you live for, you know. But you describe it as gladiatorial, don't well, you? Well, it is gladiatorial. I mean, the whole atmosphere, the whole arena you're in, you know, you, people are watching, you know, watching you, you know, play, and, it, and it's, it's, it's a war of attrition as well, you know, and you go out there and you... you, 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 you feed off the atmosphere, you feed off the crowd, and, um, you know, it's two teams going at each other. So, no, I, I, it's tribal, really, rugby in, in many ways. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, I was reading a rather excellent book, actually, which I must... Great. Thank top, you. top book, but... What was that Dowie Morris story in South Africa when Nelson Mandela... When was that, 90...? 94. 94. Yeah, we went on tour with England, and Dowie's a wonderful guy. Uh, was a great player for England, and um, but he's he comes out with the odd uh, ridiculous comment every now and again. And, and you can imagine you're very nervous when you're meeting someone very important, and you're focused on the game. And uh, and Nelson Mandela, I think he'd only been president ten days, and he was coming down the line. And Dowie said, you know, what am I going to say to him? You know, what what shall I say to him? He said, well, just you know, you've only got a nanosecond. Just say hello, how are you? Move on. Anyway, and he, and he grabbed Nelson Mandela's hand, and he kind of shook it, and sort of wouldn't let go. And he said, do you have Rotax over here? <laughs> yeah. And, I mean, the look on Man Mandela sort of looked around and went, well, do we? <laughs> um, now, you never really took rugby sort of massively seriously, did you, as a, as a child or even as a teenager? You were actually a singer, I mean, a choral singer, before becoming... No, we, we went to a, I went to a, um, a school where I was involved in the choir, and the choir that we were involved in, we were lucky enough to perform in Evita, and in the West End, um, you know, two or three nights a week. And uh, we, we, we got involved with Tina Turner, uh, We Don't Need Another Hero. Uh, you sang on that? Yeah, the, ba the, the backing vocals, yeah. See, did you know that? Yeah. No, it's, and it's, it, your whole family seems to me to be very, a talented family. I mean, your sister was, after four lessons, was uh, accepted by the Royal Ballet School, wasn't she? She was, I mean, uh, yeah, I never felt that I was born to play rugby. You know, I worked very hard at, uh, you know, at, at getting better at it, um, mm. whereas I, th 